So I'm doing a video just to show you that you can do a pretty good tenon with a CNC. Um, I would recommend building a panther router or a slot mortise or anything if you can do that, but I don't have one. And so it's I built the CNC to do um, standing boards as well, so I could do joinery like this. And building a crib, so I need to do 80 tenons, and so I have to have kind of a system set up. So this is. Um, how I do it and hopefully it'll help anybody that's been wanting to do something like this. So I have a clamp system right here. Um, <laughs> one of the handles broke off so I am using a pair of pliers here. Um, and loosen that up and slip the board into it. I'm using this edge right here as a reference just so I can slam it right up against that. Um, I'll take the machine to what is zero. Um, if I can find the mouse. So that's zero where it was before, and then I'll take this and clamp it up against the edge and it's solid. And then, because every piece might be a little tiny, tiny different, I take it over to where I need to have it zeroed and bring it down. Over here, I have my G code written to do on this corner over here. So, it down. Okay. So that's zeroed, and then on Mach three, I'm, I just zero this out and turn on the router. That's it. The process time, I can do um, tenons on both ends in about four and a half minutes is how fast the turnover's been. Um, so it'll still take a few hours. I've got, you know, 40 boards to put two tenons on each. Um, and it might not be the fastest process, but if you've only got a CNC, I do recommend if you're building one to put some type of notch into it so you can um, clamp them like that and do the joinery like that. And it is very practical to do tenon, mortise and tenon, or other joints with the CNC.